It is the day before the October SAT and you're probably pretty stressed out. No worries, we've got you covered with some easy strategies that will guarantee a huge score boost for test day. Our prep work students have used these strategies consistently to score in the high 1500s on the digital SAT. That means scores like 1580, 1550, 1560, etc. So let's get to it. The first thing that you need to do, and this may seem counterintuitive, is to relax. Research shows that cramming is proven to increase stress, panic, and anxiety. The amount that you're going to learn in the next 24 hours if you cram won't be worth the stress. And during the test, you're probably going to forget most of it. So the best thing to do is to take it easy. Now, we know that some of you are still going to try to study, so we'll add some tips for the best ways to direct your study later in the video. Now, another thing you should try to do is to clear your mind. Don't think about schoolwork or homework. Losing a couple of points for a missing assignment isn't going to hurt you in the long run. But this SAT score could make or break your college application, especially if this is your only shot. Prioritize this test. Now, you can also hang out with friends today or do something you genuinely enjoy to take your mind off of things. Clear the negative thoughts and have confidence. You can listen to your favorite music before the test, but make sure you don't get lyrics stuck in your head. And of course, make sure to eat a good balanced meal and get a good night's sleep. This year, you'll likely take the SAT digitally unless you have test modifications or live in a region without reliable internet. So we're going to teach you how to use the tools on the digital exam to your advantage. Before I go through this, make sure you download Bluebook using the info College Board sent you through the email address you provided upon sign up. As we see here, you have a highlighter and a note writer available to you on the English portion. There is also an answer eliminator, a line reader as we see when we click on more, this is what we get right here, a line reader. Uh, we also have a question flagger, so that's this bookmarker right here, and a timer. Now on the actual test, this timer will become red when you're under five minutes. This is true for both of the sections. Now on the math section, you've also got a calculator available to you and a reference sheet. This is a Desmos calculator. If you're familiar with Desmos, it is a graphing calculator that can help you solve any almost any algebra related question. We're not going to do a deep dive into any of these right now, but I will mention some more resources and videos in the next tip. Now, I did show say I'd show you what to direct your studying towards. And well, this right here is it. When you took a Blue Book practice test, when you took practice tests on Blue Book to prepare, it takes a highlight of what your strengths and your weaknesses are that looks something like this right here. All right, take a look at those and use the question bank to find questions that exactly target these. We have a link in the description if you want to take a peek, but know that the questions that show up as needing some work are likely going to be the question that you spend the most time on if you don't fix the problem. We have a link again to the student question bank. You can choose any assessment, any section of the SAT, and then find any question by its domain scores using the link again in the description below. Now, this is for our last and objectively most important tip, test strategies. Firstly, you have to avoid any sort of distraction. That means no gum, which research shows only improves focus around 20 minutes before becoming detrimental to your focus, clicky pens or pencils, etc., etc. Now, Keep in mind also that you're going to want to be able to move around the test as soon as you can, as quickly as you can. You should not waste time doing useless tasks or just manipulating test tools. What this means is that you should be bringing a mouse. You should use a touchscreen device if you have one. I did this when I took the digital SAT and it helped me get through the questions extremely quickly. You should also make sure that your device is fully charged and compatible with College Board's Blue Book guidelines. We will put a link to those in the description as well. Now, I mentioned Desmos before, it is your best friend in that math section. We have a guide to some Desmos strategies in the top right corner, but we're planning to release more for the November SAT. Let us know if you want those in the comments below. Essentially, just know that you can graph almost any two-dimensional equation using the SAT version of Desmos for the exam, and also remember that the SAT exam only assesses mathematics up to Algebra 2. Now, if you want to see exactly what you can do with that Desmos graphing calculator, check the link in the description. As for English, make sure that you know strategies on how to solve every single type of question. You need strategies because reading the entire passage for every single question is going to be too slow. 
we have approximately hour long video with practice questions and strategies that I highly recommend you watch if you are struggling on the English portion. I guarantee it will help. Now, you should also know when to give up. If you notice that you are taking more than 30 seconds on a question, still feel like you're stumped, eliminate the answers that you have already eliminated, then skip it and come back to it later. You might have a new idea, you might have a new strategy on how to solve the problem based on another problem. You can also use that flag tool that we discussed earlier to mark it as a hard problem. Make sure that you have enough time at the end of the module to come back to your questions, answer those tough questions on your second round back, and then guess, then take a third round and check your other answers to the easy questions. Remembering that for a good score, it is almost essential that you score highly on module one. Try to guarantee that you get most of the questions right there by using multiple strategies to solve each problem. This is especially important for math, where you can try using Desmos and using algebraic methods to solve the same problem, making sure, of course, that you get the same answer. These are just three quick tips that will absolutely raise your score for the SAT. Good luck tomorrow, and leave a comment if you have any questions.